Hi, my name is Michael Machusik and I'm an independent housing market analyst. I've been doing this work for over 30 years and during that time I've worked on many new housing projects in Brisbane's northern suburbs. Trask Land is a repeat client and I have worked with them on several new land estates in the Moreton Bay area and I am standing on what will become their new master planned estate in this area, Affinity at Moray Field South. Affinity will be a master plan estate holding 871 allotments over a 55 hectare site. This project will be built over 21 stages and take between three and four years to complete. Stages one and two are about to go on sale and stage one will feature a 24 home display village hosting many of Australia's best builders. Here are seven things I think you should know about Affinity and what's going on in the Moreton Bay region. Affinity is what I like to label a whole of life estate. The estate has been thoughtfully created to provide a mosaic of lifestyle choices. If you're a first, second or third home buyer, or a custom home builder or even downsizer, there will be a lot size and location to meet your needs. Investors and renters are also well catered for, with a range of housing products that offer generous rental yields whilst providing tenants with considerable choice. To make sure that living requirements of the community are met, half of the new homes needed in the area in the future will be built on smaller allotments. Trask is leading the way in providing innovative and affordable new housing in Brisbane's northern suburbs. The Moreton Bay Regional Council holds approximately half a million residents and the area has been growing by 10,000 new people each year. It is forecast that the rate of growth is likely to increase in coming years. COVID-19 has changed many people's outlook in life there has been an increase in the number of people who live in Sydney and Melbourne looking to move to greener and cleaner locations such as Brisbane's northern suburbs to raise their families. At present there is a need to build 5,000 new homes each year in the area. The Moreton Bay region struggled recently to keep up with demand and the recent home builder building incentive has put further pressure on this limited supply of land currently available for sale. I believe that Affinity will sell very quickly and Trask will be able to lift land prices faster than they have in the past. The typical residential lot size in Moreton Bay continues to decrease in answer to affordable housing. At Affinity, Trask has strived to keep lot sizes above the average as well as maintaining affordable prices. This result gives homeowners a wider choice of lot sizes to choose from and keeps the prices well below the $300,000 local average lot price. Like all Trask land estates, the initial stages in Affinity are very well priced. This encourages earlier sales, plus helps facilitate solid price increases as the estate develops. In stages one and two, the terrace lots start from $165,000. Lotments with 10 metre frontages start from $205,000 and traditional family sized allotments are priced between $240,000 and $250,000. Over 10% of the Affinity Estate has been allocated to open space, with the first park located in Stage 3. Major trees will be retained in the parkland where possible, and extensive plan revegetation will maintain fauna connectivity throughout the region. Parks and equipment will be designed with a treehouse theme, and the streetscape, roadside planting and treatment, and street lighting will be similar to nearby completed Trask Estates, such as Lakeview, Alkina, and River Breeze. Trask prides itself on its parkland and streetscape provisions. Recent studies suggest that living in areas of quality open space can increase property values by between 5 and 7%. Living in a greener environment is not only good for you, but can be very good for your bank balance too. Trask limits the amount of land it sells to investors and speculative home builders. An analysis of recent Trask land sales shows that owner residents bought 7 out of 10 allotments in their completed estates. Investment stock like dual occupancy homes and duplexes will be supplied in Affinity, but they'll be limited in number and also be in set locations. Land estates with limited investment exposure seems to resell better and future buyers pay a premium to live in such estates. And our studies show that that premium can be as high as 10%. Local land sales have doubled over the last 12 months and land values have lifted by as much as 20% over the same period. The rental vacancy rate is very tight and weekly rents continue to outpace inflation. Dwelling sales are also rising, whilst the amount of resale stock on the market remains flat. This means the local housing market is in an upswing phase of the property clock. 
We expect property values and rents to keep on rising over the next 12 to 18 months. And once the market peaks, values and rents are likely to remain at those new price heights. Now is the time to buy. Affinity Moray Field South is located halfway between the start of the Sunshine Coast and the Brisbane CBD, making both just a short freeway commute away. The Brisbane Metropolitan Railway line is just 10 minutes away as well, as are a variety of sporting, retail and educational facilities. And those unfamiliar with the area, Moreton Bay is just minutes away. And if you're into going to the big shops, Westfield North Lakes is just 20 minutes drive away and you can get to the Caboolture Hospital in under 15 minutes too. Finally, residents in the first stages of Affinity will be within an easy walking distance of the Lakeview Parkland and its native bird watching reserve. Nature and development well combined. Trask Land is a family owned business and is one of the better land developers in Queensland. If you're looking for an affordable land in a thoughtfully created, well-planned master estate, from a developer with a proven track record and in Brisbane's Northern Corridor, then for my way of thinking, Affinity is worth a closer look. <music>